are in my pocket. The thing about Grandpa is that he's always fun. We play lots of games. Three! Oh, you won again! <laughs> I certainly did. Captain we read Captain Dumble twit mm, stories. The tennis racket sprung out of the side of the spaceship. <laughs> we share our ice cream. <laughs> we suck up our spaghetti. <laughs> and Grandpa is always like this. <laughs> That's it, Jason. I love the drawbridge. Thanks, Grandpa. And here's the last flag. One of the things I like doing best with Grandpa is making pictures. And this one was for a special reason. It was part of our plan for taking part in the Sunny Sands Sandcastle competition. That's exactly how it's going to look. A winner if ever I saw one. Well done. It's great. Great? It's more than great. It's splendiferous. Grandpa was right. Our sandcastle was going to be the most splendiferous sandcastle in Sunny Sands. Our town is called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. We love spending time at our beach hut on the beach. And you can see the lighthouse from my bedroom window. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop, and here's Miss Smiley's Cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Then there's Mr. Whoops' shop, where you can buy anything and everything. Everyone loves Sunny Sands. There's just one thing more we need. Get the treasure chest, Jason. Grandpa opened his treasure chest. It's where he keeps all the things he had when he was a boy. There are rattles. And a funny monkey. Toy boats and trains. And today he'd found this. A knight. We'll stick him on the top. He can be our guard. Brilliant. Thanks, Grandpa. Are we ready to go then? Yes. Come on. Oh, this is going to be such fun. So I got into Campo with Dad and Grandpa and we set off for the beach. And Dad said, do you need any help with the sandcastle? Only I'd like to repaint the beach hut this afternoon. And Grandpa said... Oh, we'll manage just the two of us, won't we, Jason? And I said... Of course, Grandpa. And Grandpa said... I can see the sea. We got to the beach and started to build our castle. And soon it was time to stand Grandpa's knight on top. Uh, right a bit, no, no, a bit more left. That, that, there, there. That's perfect. Well, that is definitely splendiferous. Don't forget the flag, Jason. We were so busy admiring the sandcastle and deciding where to put the flag, we didn't notice that someone else had arrived on the beach. Troy! Look, Dad! What a rubbish sandcastle! We don't like this boy Troy much. He lives next door and he's always inviting himself round to play. He's very spoiled and he's very rude. He does things like this. I want it! No! Me! Give it to! And this. But I want to play with it! And he makes Grandpa say... That boy needs a good talking to. Troy's dad settled down and Troy said... Is this for the Sunny Sand Sandcastle competition? Yes, but it's not finished yet. It's going to look like this picture. A two-year-old could have made a better flag than that. And what's this night all about? Ha! Really old-fashioned. Grandpa wouldn't like this one bit. If we want to win, we're going to have to do it my way. Come on, we need some more shells. Wants to do it his way, does he? Well, we'll see about that. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. Catch me if you can! He can get into my car and make it go. Fly off in 
in my plane. Not the plane, Grandpa! He can ride on Gordon, my toy seagull. <laughs> or he could just run for all he's worth. And this time he was running. Grandpa, stop it! Troy will see you! Hi, Jason! Come here or else! I didn't like leaving Grandpa on his own. But once he's got a plan in his head, there's no stopping him. Luckily, Troy's dad was busy reading his magazine. And my dad was busy stirring his paint. So they didn't see Grandpa standing the night up. Or sticking the flag back in. Grandpa, Troy's coming. What's going on? Who put all of this stuff back? It can't have been your grandpa, because he's way too old to go crawling about on the sand. Of course, Troy doesn't know what Grandpa can do when he's wearing his magic shrinking cap. Where is he anyway? Probably in the hut having one of his little lie-downs. I knew Grandpa could hear Troy being rude about him, and he wouldn't be very pleased. Ah! What's under there? Is it a crab? I hate crabs. Ah, it's going to bite me! Get rid of it! Get rid of it! No problem. While I got rid of the crab, Troy started decorating the castle his way. And soon it looked like this. Ha! How cool is that? That's not how it's supposed to look. In our picture, the shells go round. Who the... cares about your stupid picture, Jason? We're doing it my way now. I needed Troy to get out of the way so Grandpa could put the sandcastle back how he wanted it. Let's go and fetch more seaweed. I was just going to say that. As soon as we'd gone, Grandpa crept out from his hiding place and set to work. Luckily, Troy's dad was busy having a nap. And my dad was busy cleaning paint off his fingers. But Grandpa was so busy rearranging the shells, he didn't see Troy marching up the beach. So I rushed in front of him. You're in my way! I was trying to give Grandpa enough time to hide, when suddenly I heard... What was that? Not another crab! It wasn't another crab. It was Grandpa falling into the moat. I don't get it. This is weird. Troy had no idea just how weird. I was worried about Grandpa. I couldn't see him anywhere. But I could see these. The good news was, Grandpa wasn't hurt. The bad news was, he was running around the beach in his pants. Anyone want to come for an ice cream? Yes, please. You coming, Troy? Oh, no. You don't want an ice cream? I didn't like leaving Troy with Grandpa on the loose, but I had no choice. While I was gone, Troy threw the seaweed all over the top in a mess and started taking off all the shells. I rushed back ahead of Dad and was about to say something to Troy when I heard... Oh, no, you don't, young man. Ah! I am Sir Shrinkalot, and I guard Jason Mason's sandcastle. This time, Grandpa had gone too far. He'd taken the knight's clothes off and was wearing them himself. It was you! You moved the flags and changed the shells. I certainly did. This is Jason's castle and you can't expect to come marching in here and take over. I... I guess not. I had to do something. Troy was getting closer and closer to Sir shrink a lot. Jason! Jason the knight! It's... it's... It's just a toy, Troy. No! It's alive! It spoke to me and everything! <laughs> Troy, you have such a fantastic imagination. No, it really did, honest. Dad! While nobody was looking, I grabbed the toy knight. He needed to put his clothes back on. And so did Grandpa. So I rushed round to the back of the beach hut. While Grandpa was getting dressed, I put the knight back in his place. And this time, Troy didn't dare try to stop me. 
weird. Grandpa took off his shrinking cap and went back to his normal size. There you are, Grandpa. Come on, they're about to start the competition judging. And guess what? We won first prize. I knew our sandcastle was a winner, Jason. Teamwork, eh? Yes. Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork? But you had a little lie down halfway through, Grandpa. It's a good job Troy was there to help out. 